what's one of the downfalls of uh, running your shed on motorized tools? Uh, that'll be the toxic fumes and smoke. So uh, I'm gonna use this leaf blower and uh, take care of it. So my plan is to throw this leaf blower on the wall, duct it to my shed, all the air will come through into the leaf blower, out the roof, and then I'll have a tractor flap on to stop the rain coming in. So here's the leaf blower I'm gonna use, just a standard like 25 or 30 cc, uh, this is a home light one. So because this is a two stroke, it can run in any direction. So I'm gonna stick it up this way and uh, makes it easy to pull start and fill up as well. Um, and then the uh, exhaust can go straight out the top through the roof. Let's cut a hole in here and I can use that to uh, mount an uh, inlet uh, rather than trying to mount it onto that with adapters and everything. Uh, I might just bend up my hand a bit first. Without stabbing myself. So now I've just got to cut a hole inside this. I'll go from the other side so I can at least centre it with the, um, the fan that's in there. Uh, say 90 mil, nine centimeters, which is four and a half. Keep my fingers away from it. All right, hopefully this will be a nice tight fit, but kind of hope it does fit. Otherwise, might need some more hammering. where I stabbed myself in the hand, I think. Hammer. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I'm just using this as a seal, just to um, fill that gap between the uh, fan uh, intake and the ducting. Yeah, it's, that's sealed up pretty well. Perfect. There we go, got our um, cardboard intake through there, out the top. And I'll just put a little tractor flap on it to keep the rain out. So I've come up with this CAD design of the tractor flapper with the um, rain cap. Uh, general idea is that lifts up when there's uh, air coming out and then it'll drop down again but I may make this here a bit longer just to give it a bit more weight on this end to make sure it doesn't jump up in the wind Here's the flapper cap. I've just uh, bent over some tabs there. It's holding it pretty sturdy. Now I've got this little piece on the back just so that when it comes over it all won't go any further. Just so it doesn't flip backwards and then get stuck open. Don't really want that. Seems to work all right. It's not gonna get, not gonna get stuck up there. All right, time for a bench test. All right, so. Ah, oh, look at that. That's perfect, couldn't have asked for any better, eh?
So this is the main line in. And then we have one across to feed the whole shed. So we've got the main line to feed the shed. And then the line from the leaf blower. So I just got to cut a couple of angles and uh, fit them together. Now uh, I think this is where I could do with the two stroke handsaw, but uh, next best option I guess. I wouldn't call that overboard, I think just about the right amount of board. Uh, Pulling, no chain, doesn't go, no bar, leaks fuel. Ah, oh, this old trusty one, this will do it. Oh. oh, I could really do it with an extraction system or something, eh? <coughs> oh, I think that fits close enough. I'll get some paint on it and then fix it in semi-permanently with uh, duct tape. There you go, that's looking better. I'm just going to cap this end off here and I'll drill a hole to uh, fit vacuum in. Yeah, it's close enough. It's got the hose hooked up. So I'm going to give it a test run. Just with a plastic end into my workbench. I don't have high hopes of that uh, lasting for a long distance, but it might be okay for a short trial. We'll see how it goes. Well, I'm quite looking forward to this test. Uh, this is going to be some good fun. Well, I can't smell any fumes. I think that was a success. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs>